there, friends. I was so excited when I saw what the scripture lesson was for today, because it happens that that is one of my favorite Bible stories of all time. I love it because it shows us in really tangible ways how people can take care of one another. And it's also really fun to teach with kids. So take a look at these film clips and enjoy the story in a little bit different way. One, two, three. All right. Here we go. Don't let our paralyzed friend fall out of her bed. She's already a little bit wonky. Look at her fire now. Okay, let's stop. Take a break. Now, this is because they would have possibly had to go a mile or more. <laughs> and we have gone Sorry, I was laughing. about 20 yards. <laughs> so we're going to keep going. But keep in mind, in this story, they probably had to take some breaks. How funny was that, right? We've done it in Sunday school where we take turns carrying friends on a blanket up and down the hallway. And it gives us a feel for how hard it really would be to carry another human. But you know what? There's a couple of other different sides to this story. And so the next video clip that we're going to look at has to do with the person who's being carried and how that person had to put a lot of trust in their community of friends to get them to the place where Jesus was and to get them there safely. So let's take a look at this one. Here you go, Chester. I hope that all your friends are strong enough to hold you. I don't know. Oh, dear. Oh. We'll be a little bit more careful this time and hope that he can make it all the way down to see Jesus. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, he's almost there. Yay! Chester made it! Woo! Wasn't that funny? I love that. But it does give you the idea that it cannot be easy for four people to carry somebody all the way through a crowded town and get them to a house, and then they would have had to climb somehow up a ladder or some stairs with this person that can't walk and dig a hole in a roof and then lower them down. And that person had to trust their friends a whole lot to do that. But you know, there's one more part of this story, and that's the Jesus part. Because Jesus knew that this was a small community of friends, but Jesus also knew that the person who couldn't walk didn't have much community beyond these friends. Because in Jesus' time, if you were disabled, you were kind of an outcast from your community. And so Jesus' actions did something that was amazing for this person because it restored this person to the community that they belong to. And in those times, as well as today, when we are restored to our community, it is one of the greatest gifts that we can be given. Let's pray. Dear God, Jesus showed us in very tangible ways how important community is to each and every one of us and how being a part of a community or being restored to our community makes all the difference in the lives of everyone involved because our communities are richer when all of us have a place in them. Thank you for the example of Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Blessings on a great week, okay?